everyone, how's it going? And welcome to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I just want to say thank you again for all the amazing support everyone's been leaving on this series. I truly do appreciate it. What we did in the last episode, as you can see in the background, was we worked on our cabin. Kind of an area where you can go to and purchase your pumpkins after you pick them, but it's also a bit spooky. It's a kind of like a haunted looking cabin, um, and that's kind of the theme we're going to because it is October. It's the 2nd of October, and it's time to bring in that Halloween season uh, vibe on the channel, which is what I've been doing for the past few days now. So if you guys are enjoying that, please let me know down below in the comment sections. We'll be trying to do a lot of other things. So let's go ahead and start in today's episode. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to see more of this. And if you guys are new as well, don't forget to subscribe for more content as well. So what we're going to do today, you may be asking, is what else do we have in store for uh, kind of working in this area? We're still going to stick in this area for today's episode. We're going to work on a graveyard, and we're also going to add some, uh, I guess, dead trees that someone actually mentioned in the comment sections, and it was a really fantastic idea. So I'm looking forward to incorporating that in today's build also what i've done was of course i added the roof on the building and i've added kind of like a property line with fences so no one could just jump right in here and steal our pumpkins so as you can see it's kind of like uh i've done a little bit of detailing around the roof but that's pretty much it as you can see inside i actually added a few slabs in here to kind of make it look a little bit old and abandoned um and i think it's really looking fantastic so far the inside though it kind of needs a little bit of help here let's uh, we should probably fix that right now shouldn't we uh, do we have any more? Oh, we do not have any more spruce. What is this? I used all of it on the stairs, I guess. All right, that's no big deal. We're going to go ahead and we're going to work on the graveyard. Now, you may be asking, why are we building a graveyard next to an area where people would go ahead and pick their pumpkins and then go ahead and purchase them? Well, I figured it's time for the season to kind of make it a little bit scary. So I figured we could build a small little graveyard, I think, in this little corner back here. Or we can just build it right about here, which will be kind of creepy, though. Like, I wouldn't really want it right behind. So I think we'll put it on the side. We're going to clear out this. Someone actually mentioned in the comment sections as well to uh, get a bucket so you can clear off the seeds. Well, that's a fantastic idea. I usually do that. I just, I guess I usually forget to bring a bucket with me, just like we're in the same situation right about now. Also, we do have this cauldron, which we can add inside here. I don't know why we would want it here, but I guess it could add for a bit of design. I mean, there we go. We'll put one right about there. I think it looks kind of decent. Oh, we can also add... Oh, you know what? That doesn't look half bad either. Kind of having a little bit of design to it. We could even add a pumpkin right about there. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're still not done with this build, but I'm pretty happy. So, looks like we're going to have our pathway kind of going throughout here. Um, and we probably should make this a little bit bigger. So, we do have some dirt, which we're going to fill in a little bit over here. Kind of terraform this a tad bit. Um, and we're just going to try to make it a tad bit bigger so we can actually fit in a few uh, kind of like... I guess we'll just fit in a few more gravestones here and there we go also let me know down below in the comment section who is excited for halloween is this one of your favorite seasons i'd love to know because if it is then i'm going to try my hardest to bring in a halloween vibe for this month which i still want to do it's it's the time where i bring in back maybe a, a scary role player doing some maps some horror maps which i did upload uh yesterday so if you guys have not checked that out i really highly recommend if you guys go ahead and show that support i really love it it's a scary map uh, uh of a halloween horror map pretty much and it's fantastic fantastic it's really well done and it's only part one so there's still a few more parts to it it is turning night oh geez okay let's go grab our uh special little orange bed here for the season our festive looking bed here we're gonna grab that with us and bring it up there until it turns night which is slowly turning night here we have our horses doing fantastic here too we're probably gonna have to go around and decorate our whole entire town with pumpkins sooner or later so let's go ahead and put our bed right over here just for now until we go ahead and someone actually did mention we should build a house soon and i think that's a smart idea i think the next episode we're gonna go ahead and build our house down over there i think it's about time it's been about like what 26 episodes and i still don't have my own house what is this alex and all right can we go to bed now like it's it's clearly turning uh, night and uh i don't want any uh mobs to come out here there we go that's what i'm talking about all right let's go ahead let's get ourselves out of bed and back to work so I don't really know exactly how I want to plan this out, but I do have a basic idea of how I want to structure this. So we still have a little bit more to kind of cover around here, uh, which what we're going to do is we're going to try to fill in this place a bit more like so to kind of make it feel a little bit more natural than having random blocks just floating up here. I mean, it is kind of scary when you see that, but I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work out too well. So uh, we'll take those out. We'll probably form some other design around this lake or pond here. Let's do this as well. Close it in. Try to terraform a little bit of it. Use some coarse dirt. I don't know why, but that's the only dirt I have on me right now. 
So there we go. That's pretty simple for now. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and just add the graveyard. I think we're going to start with using our cobblestone wall, uh, which is probably the closest thing I could find to. We do have to make some signs as well, or we'll use our frames. Um, and I think we're just going to go and place them uh, about randomly. Uh, we'll put one over here. We'll put one right across there. Probably put a few right here. One, two. Um, try to make it look a little bit uh, not too symmetrical. We want to make it look a little bit different um, So it doesn't look like really really just weird having it so even all right Let me just show you guys what I have in mind So the ground here in front is going to be we're gonna use our coarse dirt Which is right over here, and that's how it's gonna be the ground and then under here What we could do is we could add some stone which I think is right over here. Let's go ahead and grab some stone uh, We should have some stone left over in this chest. I think so uh, no, we do not. We do have some spruce, though. I will gladly take the spruce. We have our stone all the way back in our storage room, which is my mistake. I should have grabbed some more stone, but for now, we're going to go run over real quick. We're going to grab ourselves some stone, and we're going to see what else, whatever the things we can grab from here, actually. We still have a few things to work around here. We have to develop more back here. It's a little bit, it's being, it's being left behind, and I don't like that. I want to make sure that it's, it's on top of its game. It's looking good. Ooh, mossy stone. Just what I was looking for. We're going to grab ourselves some mossy stone, and we're going to use that as the foundation of the, uh, I guess we'll use it as the foundation of the tomb. So that should look kind of decent, I think. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, I just realized I put a fence here that I'm not going to be able to, oh, wait, I could just jump right in. There we go. Mobs won't be able to get in. Hopefully, they won't be able to get in. Um, all right, so I think down here, we're going to add our mossy stone. Here we go. Same right about here. And we're just going to use the coarse dirt. There it is. Nice. Looking good. So far, so good. And I think our iron shovel will break eventually. Hopefully, it doesn't break in this episode. Hopefully, it will just stay through and, and stay strong for us. Uh, I realize we have cor cursed... Cor ah, I can't even say it. Coarse dirt over here. Probably take that out and replace it with some normal dirt. There it is. Perfect. All right. Let's slowly take that out of there. Gonna try to not use my shovel as much as possible here because we gotta maintain it for quite some time. So now we have to add, I'm either gonna lean towards adding a frame. Uh, first of all, this has to be a little bit taller. I think something like, I feel like that's just way too tall. I don't know, I feel like that's just too much. Maybe just simply having two, I don't, I don't know. I didn't really think 100% through on how I want this design. I guess this will kind of work, but it's like right next to each other, which is, this is gonna look quite strange. So. Uh, there goes, I mean, we could have it different. We can have it different styles, I guess. Uh, we'll add a frame over there. We'll add a frame over there. Um, very, very simple, I guess. Graveyard. Nothing too crazy. Um, what else could we, I mean, we should probably, hmm. I did not really think through how I'm going to make these tombs look, but, uh, I'm guessing that's going to be okay for now. Uh, we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, we definitely want to add some leaves around here to bring in some overgrown feeling. So we'll go ahead and do that. Probably something like this. There it is. And we'll probably just wrap around the corners here a little bit. There it is. Kind of add a little bit of an overgrown feeling. Make it a little bit secluded. Kind of spooky looking. You got to get around just to go inside here to see stuff. Um, let's do this. Now, I don't have too much... Um, I don't have too many leaves, so I'm not going to go around and putting too many. So we're just going to go and add where it's needed most as for now. There we go. That's enough for now. Let's just remove those. And I do have some hay bills, which we're going to place around here. I guess we'll just add a few here. It really, honestly, the hay bills just work for design for Halloween. Just makes it look a little bit more spooky, which is kind of what I want to go for. And I do like that a lot. Uh, we should probably work on a path as well. Since we are here, we have our shovel. We'll probably add a few... I guess we can add some marks around here like this. There we go. Something simple as that. Just kind of walk through. There it is. Around here. A little bit messy. There we go. And all right. Now we need bone meal, which I do have enough of it. So we're going to go around and place ourselves some overgrown grass here. And I think this really is doing a good job. It's really looking good around here. I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. Has a little bit of a spooky feel, and I like that. Ooh, that is actually really, really good. I'm quite happy with this over uh, so far. The design, I think, is great. Now, this area right here kind of looks a little bit weird how it's uh, kind of built. Um, so we're going to have to probably restructure this and work on it in the next few episodes, kind of make it look a little bit more natural than what it is right now. 
uh, but we can definitely do something with it. I don't know what. If you guys have an idea for this section, please go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to go work on the, uh, I guess, the dead trees that we had in mind. This is something that someone mentioned in the comment sections. And I think it's a really, really good idea. So we're going to go ahead and add one right about here. Now, I honestly don't know how I'm going to design this. I really don't know. Um, it's all going to be random, I guess, for me at the moment. Let's get some dirt here. Jump up a bit. Um, we should probably add one more. There we go. And then build up. I guess we could do... No, I feel like that's too... I don't know. We can we can give it a shot. Why not? I really don't know how I'm going to design this tree, to be honest with you guys. It's going to be a random-looking tree. So let's go ahead and kind of try to design this ourselves here. And we're going to try to stick with the same design throughout. Uh, we could probably... Let's see. How is this looking so far? I mean, that's not too... Let's, if we take this down and we remove maybe that, maybe that will look a little bit better. That looks a little bit better so far. Okay, I'm not I'm not too upset about this design so far. And we could probably add one on top right there. Let's move the bottom one. And we could probably remove the top one right there. There we go. And then we could add something going downwards here, like that. And we'll remove this one on the top. Perfect. All right. You know what? Actually, that's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm quite impressed that I actually managed to pull that off in a matter of uh, a quick, short amount of time. We do want to make it where the tree is almost looking like it's going in the ground a little bit. So uh, we'll probably take out a few of the grass blocks and as it is kind of like going in the ground a bit. So we could probably do something like this. Um, probably do some coarse dirt around here. I'll randomly place that block. Some coarse dirt around here like this. Make it look a little bit old. And do we have any more bone meal left? We do not. Okay. That is going to be not a big concern. We'll go back around and fix that eventually. Um, all right. So we'll probably add maybe something like that. No, that's too much back here. That should be removed. We don't need that. Uh, all right. You know what? Not too bad. I think for the first design of a tree that's a dead tree, it doesn't look quite bad. I mean, we could obviously have made a dead tree just a long log. Like how if you remove all the leaves from these trees, it's just random. But... Um, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. Ooh, I was thinking actually, no, if you do remove all the leaves on this, it would just look kind of strange. So for now, I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and actually grab some more pumpkins so we can actually decorate a little bit more around here. And like I said, someone did mention you don't need to have water around here. The pumpkins will grow without water once you have the stem. Uh, but it's not a big deal. I'll leave it for now because it looks kind of decent. So for now, I will leave it like that. And we're going to go around and kind of harvest some of the pumpkins that we got here. Um, there we go. We'll grab a few more and they will go back in no time. Uh, let's go back here quickly. Now I'm going to add maybe some pumpkins, some jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I also did add some decoration here. As you can see, we have another one of those scary things over there. Uh, so we have some jack-o'-lanterns of course as well. Let's go and add some pumpkins randomly around here too. Uh, we'll go ahead and add one right, let's add one right over there. Um, that looks decent over there. Let's see where else can, oh, perfect. One in that corner. And then we could even put one right about there. And that's perfect, I think. Oh, you know what would be kind of strange, but kind of cool looking? We'll just have one right about here. Let's go add one. We have two left. So we'll put two dirt here. And we'll put maybe uh, a random scarecrow dude just chilling over here with the pumpkin on his head. And I think that looks quite decent. And we'll probably add maybe some mossy stone around here. Add a little bit of a design, possibly, instead of just having it all uh, dirt. We can also grab some coarse dirt. If we have a little bit left, there we go. Mix and match a bit. And I think that looks decent. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, we do have some... Oh, we don't have any more uh, bone meal, though. Not a big deal. Uh, but there we go. That's kind of a random design. We're still going to eventually design it furthermore. Uh, in the meantime, we could probably just put a sapling here and see if it possibly wants to grow. I doubt it, though. Uh, but really, it's taken shape so far. Like, as you walk back here, you have a really cool-looking area um, that adds to the whole character of this. I mean, it could be considered a graveyard. It could be considered whatever you want. It could just be a design for Halloween, um, which is kind of what we're going for right now. And we still need to add a few more dead trees around here. I'm trying to think in where is a good spot for one. Probably right back here would be a nice, decent spot. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and put one right about here. It is turning night again. Jeez, nighttime is really coming by really quick now. So let's go and get some rest once more. 
There we go. We can only sleep by night. Yes, I get it. Also, someone did mention the enchantment room is going to get knocked down. We are going to redesign it into a whole nother better building because that building was just looking ugly right now. And it's not finished and it really does not look good. So that's going to be a project that we will be working on in the near time soon uh, after we build our home for the most part. So let's go ahead and add our tree somewhere about there. So right there, we'll start making this tree. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. There we go. That's a little bit too tall, actually. We'll go down one. Actually, that's about decent. And now we're just going to go off randomly, um, kind of make this look a little bit different from the other trees. Um, we'll probably have one going down under there. Just planning this out, seeing how it looks. It's going to be a random design um, for the most part. We want to make sure this one goes up possibly a little bit. Uh, we'll go down one block. And over here, we'll try to make this the taller portion of the tree. And we fell all the way. Good job. Let's do this here. So one portion is going to be hanging down the top. Actually, no, that didn't look half bad. Uh, what we could do here is add the block and then remove the one on top. There we go. And there was one more that I added here that has the same function, which is to add, I guess, one on the bottom. No, that doesn't look good. I think it was this one could be removed over there. And we could probably add something going out like this. Make it look a little bit strange. Can't look like really perfectly symmetrical. It's got to be a creepy looking tree. And something random like that always does the trick. So there we go. We'll just do something like that. Completely an interesting random tree. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the way I designed this a little bit right now. Actually, if we hold off a bit and come from here... Probably doesn't look that bad, actually. It really is, it doesn't look that bad. It's supposed to be a dead tree, and if you cover this up in leaves, it would look actually quite decent. So I'm going to, I'm actually quite happy with that. I will take that design any time of the day. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. I mean, it, it looks, it looks easier said than done, but it's kind of difficult sometimes coming up with your own tree design. So I will be quite pleased with it for now. I'll take it as a as a decent attempt at making actually one of my first trees. These are like the first two trees I ever kind of created that are dead. So that's like the easiest type of trees to make, I assume. Uh, we'll definitely do some custom trees um, in the near future as well. That's something we should probably do as well. Um, let's go ahead and remove this block and put coarse dirt over there. There we go. Not too bad. And we'll probably put, there we go, something simple like that. Nice. Not too bad at all. There we go. So we have some dead trees, which someone mentioned. We did work on our graveyard a little bit, um, and it looks actually quite decent with everything we added, the small little touch of details. And so far, this place is coming to life really, really awesome. I'm loving this. I really, really am. So if you guys are enjoying this so far, definitely go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections. We are getting close to the end of today's episode. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections anything you have in mind. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well. But really going around here and checking this place out, it looks fantastic. Now, do we have any more frames left? Uh, doesn't look like we do, actually. I, I thought we had more. Um, all right, that's no big deal. We're definitely going to have to add some uh, glowstone around here. Probably add like a few... Uh, there we go, add some of these. This actually looks quite decent, adding some of these flowers within here. Let's go ahead and actually put a few in here. I think that would actually look kind of nice. Because you do see a lot of uh, sunflowers um, usually in the farms. So this would be a nice little way of presenting that. And they all face towards... Where's the sun? I don't know. They always face that way. So um, we'll probably put a few back here. Here we go. And then that should be decent for now. And over here, we didn't really work on the inside as much. But as you can see, it's it's kind of simple. It, it really isn't. There's not much more we can do to it uh, besides maybe adding, um, I don't know. We could even do something like this. That's not too bad. And then we'll add, uh, do we have any more trap doors hanging around here? We probably don't. We could actually do glowstone right about here. There we go. Just a simple little design. I guess that works. And then we'll put some fences right up top here connecting and yeah there we go that's a simple simple working design and i'm quite happy with this so yeah if you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to hit that like button we are going to end it off today we kind of finished everything that we wanted to to touch on so we hit the goals by building the dead trees working on the graveyard and kind of like working a little bit on the uh haunted house uh, store right here. But other than that, guys, if you have any other ideas for the next episode, don't forget to let me know. My name is Alexson. Peace out and stay foxy.